What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Top Shot Talk. This segment, we're gonna go through my boy Pack Trips collection. Talk to me through your um, picks on the showcase and why you right. pick these moments is in your collection. So that okay. Trey Young moment um, is gonna buy me a home one day. If you look at the serial number, it's 2460. And that's the Kobe Bryant tribute three, that Trey shot, where he does the oh. 24 at the yeah. end. But if you don't realize, 2460 was the hashtag when Kobe scored 60. It's called Mamba Out. That yeah. was the, the original hashtag. So oh. that's Mamba Out. I got the Mamba Ooh. Out. I bought it off of somebody. I seen it on the market and I'm like, what? 2460 is still in the market? And it was yeah. cheap. Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. I, I won't let it go for anything cheaper than that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 was a great moment. I mean, um, this was uh, on the day of uh, memorial of Kobe's death, right? And he's a big Kobe fan. So yep. if you Kobe guys see the fan. moment, right? Here. Yeah. See. Points, Mamba Heard up twenty four. Mamba out, right? All right. Oh, this is a great moment. I dig this one. Uh, talk to me through. Oh wow, you did the challenge. This that is, is yeah, I did the challenge. Um, I, ironically, again, I always pull the bottlenecks. I pulled the. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Jokic MGLE, and wow. I said, you know what? I'm doing the challenge. Every time I put the bottle <laughs> thing, I do it. If I pull the worst moment, I sell it. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's never the case. I always get the best one, unfortunately, and it forces my hand to go all out. <laughs> um, but if you if you look at this serial as well, what's important about this moment? It's LeBron James eliminating Stephen Curry, hitting a three on him, and ruining the Warriors' shots of even, you know, making the playoffs, right? Was that the play-in game? Yeah. And then they, they lost again to Memphis in the next play-in game. Yeah, so this... it's 2330 or 230, which is 23 and 30. It's both of their numbers put in the one. Oh, that's creative, man. That's a, a creative way to look at it. Man. Curry, LeBron, double jersey match combo. And I got yeah. that off. That's awesome. Yeah. No, this is awesome. Uh, I always find meaning in cereals. The cereals mean every, like, are, are everything to me, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, this is a great moment, man. It's one of the good challenges that had Le uh, of LeBron, actually. If I had a choice, I would have done this challenge over the seeing stars. If I knew that the price was going to uh, dip. <laughs> See, now that we know 10,000 cereal isn't a good circulation, yeah. we have information. It's not that scarce. <laughs> Stars are all, all right. Ten. What else we got here? Oh, we got some. Uh, oh, this is an interesting pick. Because Zubac? go to the transactions on this on this moment. That one, yep. And then click the buyer, the most recent oh, person. Oh, I see. I see. Click the Ivica Zubac. Click that. Yeah, that's click him, his... right? He bought it. Yeah, I bought it off of him. It's an, it's basically an autograph. I bought a Vika Zubak's card off of a Vika Zubak. Oh you, my God. That's dope, man. I see that. That's him. Yeah. It'll bring you straight to his page. Did he bought it off of you? No. So the trick. So this is what happened. And this is funny because I DM'd him on Instagram. I bought his moment. And this is before the blockchain actually showed who you bought it off of. It, yeah. It got gifted the moment. You didn't, it didn't show on the blockchain back in, in March, whenever yeah. I bought it. Yeah. It's, and gifted him that moment. It looked like the fans sold the Zubak moment to me. So I DM'd him and I said, hey, can you buy the moment back off of me and I'll and then trade it to me and I'll trade you another Zubak to replace it. And he agreed. Yeah. Zubak's the real dude to me. Okay. I swear to God, I got the did DM. Just, did he buy it off you for 500 bucks? I bought it off of him for 500 and then oh. I sold it back to him for 20 bucks and then he gifted it back to me. And through oh. the whole gift system, since you can't buy a moment and then gift it within seven days, but it's a glitch because he owned it prior. Oh, that's so like, that's oh, whack, so, man. <laughs> it's so, it's the funniest, strangest story and I'm so glad I get to tell it. Yeah, that's awesome. No, that's a funny story, man. Cause yeah, he's one of the certified ballers, right? Click it and bring right. you check page but let's next, go through i yeah we're running out of time so let's go through the three I, I like these three moments that you have the first one is oh wow you actually did the lamello challenge that's amazing talk yeah, to I me through the, the hurdle of like going through and doing this challenge so i did it honestly this is the only one that yeah. i perfect on because yeah. i with about an hour to go wow. i didn't own a full cat moment prior to doing it and i yeah. seen them 
trash and everyone killing themselves just yeah. keep selling selling it selling it and, and undercutting the next guy it got yeah. to the point where the challenge was like two g's right before it ended and i was like yeah. they, they, this is about to be i spent i spent damn near five on the rising stars like yeah. you know, it, this is going to be an exclusive club vip all this other stuff and i said you know what i'm already in the hole a little bit i kind of yeah. regret it like yeah. in a sense spending that much i could have bought other moments and still be an nba fan yeah. i kind of went hard but i was like you know what this could be my one safety gate like this could really save me from from the actions i did earlier and yeah, yeah that's for pennies and it, it's been doing great ever since yeah no this is a great moment to uh to have man this is yeah, a lot of utilities out of all the moments and, and sets this has the best utility probably out of any of them like real quick these other five the Giannis 35k that's yeah. my birth 323.95 and Giannis oh, is my that's so, dope man yeah that that was awesome getting my favorite yeah. player and my birthday number the Giannis championship all the way to the right oh, that's um, a beauty one yeah I dig that I, one I gotta say that I gotta remind you guys um, <laughs> let's look at this. this this is the one that I was at one point was uh, five thousand dollars eh? <laughs> this is Lamelo's first triple uh, triple double of his career this is one of the moments I wanted too <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, awesome! And he switched his hands like Michael Jordan did. That that infamous pick where Michael Jordan changed his hands. Yeah, like, that's the same move, and he did it on Clint Capello, which is a top five center, in, at least in the East, and a top yeah. five defensive center too. Like that, that guy knows no. what he's doing to pop the rim. And like and honestly, Lamello, like if I look around, like if I had to make a choice, if I if I were to get any of Lamelo's moments. This is probably the first of his first uh, of season uh, S2. This is probably the moment that I would want. Like not yeah. even like his Migo, not even his um, uh, Top Shot debut, because his Top Shot debut wasn't really that fancy. Three, yeah. The spin three. But yeah. if you look, all the thumbnails, this is the only one in the purple jersey. All the other exactly. ones, I believe, a white jersey, and then one is in a, a blue, I think. Yeah. Or all in I felt like this was more memorable because this is his first triple double. Right, and then his top shot debut is just a weird assist. Yeah, the NBA's biggest ever triple double too. So this is an NBA history moment. Exactly. Yeah, I, I really wanted this moment at one point. Actually, it's a great moment as well as this one. This is probably my favorite dunk of the favorite moment in top shot in terms of dunk. Yeah, this was a beauty. I'm telling. That's why I did it because I felt this was a grail. I think this yeah. years going back, this literally will be a grail, and that's what me and my friend. Me and my, my friend who put me on, me and him both did this challenge. Like we each got 10 rising stars or whatever it was. And did that's it together. crazy. Yeah. All together. So it's real fun. You know? Yeah. I think that's when it was back then. Like, honestly, it, it was so fun. Like, you know, like if we would have just have found a way, like if we would have just known that, hey, listen, we're just as everyone in the space is just as passionate as we were. We were they were they would have held the moment and enjoyed as much as we did. And then the value would have stayed. <laughs> If people were, I think we were in this, we were in it on the time, yeah. I, I see that moment as still a way higher value moment. Um, exactly. But yeah, it, it's getting its love recently from that recent pump. Yeah, yeah. Was, but was, like, the crazy that, part is the people pumping it are the same people that got out of it. <laughs> so I'm being careful. <laughs> rising Stars Challenge. I yeah. ain't leaving. Yeah. You know? It's going but back yeah. up, man. <laughs> go back to the other one. So I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. breeze through those. Um, Let's so go the through. one you could see his number perfectly. It's number nine. He was yeah. only number nine for about a month out of his rookie season. He, oh yeah. Yeah, Vucevic got traded, and Vuce yeah. took number nine. So oh. Patrick was actually number forty-four. And Top Shot never fixed that. So they oh, kept wow. really moments with him, old moments of him in number nine, even though he was not not number nine anymore. The thirty-five k or the forty k now. Um, and the MGLE were released after he changed his number to 44. And actually, in between that, he played one game in number 14. 